Hello gentlemen, welcome back. As you have seen, lately I've been boring you with gravity wheels and zero-point energy. And this is really tricky area, as we all know, because the, that energy could be really difficult to catch. But as we all know, the real power is in permanent magnets. So this time we continue with permanent magnet motors, or, sh or for short, magnet motors. This over here, this really nice looking image, is the Friedrich Leunling magnet motor. This is the patent from 1966, from German, of course, German name. So let's get now to the drawings and see what was his idea. Alright, so let's have a look what do we have here. This should be a typical magnetic motor construction, which with following devices or following components, yeah? As I no need to explain more in detail, so that, that would be our generator, yeah, which will produce our free energy or electricity. So now let's focus on the magnetic motor itself and see why is this so typical construction. But uh, it's already been solved apparently in 1966 by German uh, inventor Friedrich Leuling. So let me try to start from beginning and explain how this magnetic motor should work. All right, you can see that we have some main shaft over here in the middle which will transfer the, the energy to the generator. And, and what is connected to this shaft? All right, so that it's much more easier to follow, I will hide these three housings on which are uh, connected these rods which uh, actually hold this housing in place. And, and the, which, which are on the support, this green on the bottom. Now. So I will isolate it now. All right, so, so now we will see uh, so this how these permanent magnets are actually positioned. So let me try to move this a little bit more, that we, are, we can clearly see what's he, what is here all about. All right, so you, I will select now. So, so this should be our per permanent magnets, which are uh, mounted on the rotor, on this middle shaft. Yeah? So you see, I will turn it a little bit more from up, yeah, that we can see that better. Yeah, so this will be one and two. Yeah, and in the patent, uh, in the down in the, down in the description below, I I will put original video, which has four of these sets of permanent magnets on the main shaft. But I, for explanation, to be more simpler, I will just add. It. I just build it two. So so okay. So as you can see, this will spin the, uh, this. Uh, this magnetic, these magnets will spin on the main shaft. So that's it. And then we have the other set of magnets, which which are connected to these springs. Yeah? So you see, uh, uh, that would be our second shaft, yeah? which would be connected to this yellow part, which is a motor. Yeah? So we will need, of course, some energy to move this, so if you turn this around, this, that yellow would represent some motor which will just go left and right. Yeah, so that's that's the idea. Just small, just shortly, uh, left and right to push as you would already try to figure this out. Left and right, this bottom magnet. Yeah. So if I move this a little bit more here and try to from uh, let's say below. Uh, so you see, so this spring is mounted. Um, Okay, so that would be our mechanism with springs mounted on the housing of the magnetic motor, which will pull this, uh, uh, or not pull, which will return this shaft when these magnets, uh, so these magnets come to the sticky point, this and this, magnet, yeah? so that would spin, so the main shaft would spin in a circle, and this, this magnet should attract the, the magnets on the rotor, and when comes the sticky point, or, or exactly here, where is now, so where are the uh, where are the opposite magnetic poles? So sorry, uh, that would uh, the, this shaft would let's say turn for 45 degrees, yeah. So this motor would turn this shaft 45 degrees to avoid the sticky point, yeah. And then when it passes, it it returns it returns this to this position to attract the opposing magnets yeah, from the other other side. So that's the whole deal. Yeah? And um, what inventor says, I think from there, uh, this, this second shaft, yeah, this is shaft which, which has springs connected, attached to it, yeah, uh, would have to, I think, 280 to 500 times 
in a minute go left and right yeah so that's the idea how to avoid sticky point and actually get some power on the output and that would be it yeah so nothing this is too simple yeah? when you see it in this way it's, it's too simple of course uh, as i explained we would need an, uh, an extra power to turn this small shaft yeah and what what inventor says this setup uh, should work for about 10 to 20 years non-stop yeah so that's the that's what he explains in the video i will show you down it's in german but there is a translation on the pest network channel yeah so you can just turn on the subtitles yeah and that would be it that would be very simple magnetic motor construction which was solved already in the 60s yeah, by germans so can it really work yeah it should yeah unhide it should work because it's logical and uh, can it uh, produce uh, more power than it needs this power to shift this uh, this uh, shaft probably yes but yeah we can just guess until we build this machine all right viewers so that was it a very short explanation of this uh, friedrich loiling magnetic motor so give me some like if you like it or <laughs> dislike if you don't but basically that's, that's it how much i can tell you for now about this very good looking magnetic motor all right gentlemen so you have seen that was friedrich loiling magnet motor yeah as in all magnet motors the only necessary thing is to avoid opposing magnetic field or so-called sticky point where with these two permanent magnets stick in between somewhere in between yeah where where, where would they attract so it's an interesting design and there is a lot of more of these motors and I'll try to find them because it's not so easy for me to find the new motors because I already covered the most famous patents. So but yeah, this is my intention and uh, I, all, I, th I want to thank you all for being on my channel and following my work. Sometimes it's, huh, sometimes it's strange because uh, not even me understand too much these uh, topics. But I'm trying to and I'm reading these patents and I always put in the description below what I found in some other video which link to other interesting channels which could be interesting for you because you obviously love this topic. So until next time, just stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.